Bass, did you hear that? This is pre-intro. Hold up a second. I think there's someone at the door. What the freak is going on out here? Sorry about that guys, it must have been my imagination. I don't really know what happened there. It was kind of weird, I gotta say. So you guys like the last FNAF training tapes, huh? I suppose you just simply enjoyed the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's and the purple man slaying so many people. So many people went missing at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and no one really ended up taking the blame, which is kind of beautiful in some weird way. that. Doing these reactions over the last couple of days, it's been making me feel a little bit off. I'm not sure what's exactly been going on, but no, let's move past it, okay? So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to the third installment in the FNAF VHS tapes. The love has been incredible with the series, man. Like, you guys topped the response on the first episode, which, first of all, I did not think was going to happen. And so, of course, I'm going to be coming back for that part three, and my goodness for this episode, I have stumbled across some crazy-looking FNAF VHS tapes that i got to share with you guys. As usual, every Every single VHS creator that we're going to be reacting to, you will find their channel link in the description down below, and most of them have a lot more content you guys can check out. Now, before we go any further, let me just, uh, we got that many likes on part two, guys. I think you know what to do for part three. But listen, no more talking, guys. There's lots of new stuff that we've got to check out, so let's go ahead and get straight to tape number one. This first one here, guys, is simply called Hallway Detail. It's by Joe Lonick. I don't see any detail. Okay. So it must be the night guard checking out the place. This is the FNAF 2 establishment right here. What sort of details are we talking about? Because... Okay, that's an audible detail. And that's a withered cheek right there. So she's waking up. Dang. She's just standing there completely dormant. Bro, it's crazy how quick they just vanish straight up though. You know when the light goes off them? But what do we see? She's always done that, right? Oh man, those hollow eye sockets though. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your stay at Fredbear's Family Diner. See you later? Hold up guys, Fredbear's is a magical place for kids and grown up alike. Yeah. William Afton. I don't believe that quote for one minute. So, Hang on a second, let's retrace our steps back a little bit because we saw that footage followed up by the trailer. Is that when you show your clients before introducing them to the establishment? I'm just saying, I think if you end up going that route to try and bring people into your establishment, your business is going to be slacking and you'll probably go into bankruptcy in about 5.8 seconds. Yeah, next clip. This is also Joe Lonix, guys. It's called Nebula Tape 56. Is Nebula like a TV show in this guy's universe? Oh, it's giving me those synth wave vibes. You know what that's all about? The future of robotics. Copyright Welcome company, back to Nebula, the future of robotics. In Wait, this tape, what? we will be testing out some of our new technology, oh. being our new programming system known as CIR 1.3. Name sounds jacked up. Got those subtitles on for you guys this as well. This will allow us to import advanced movement onto rate. technology through our new software. Okay. Prego compromise future. One of these will be the new Freddy Jr.'s animatronics, but unfortunately. Oh. The blue prints nor even the animatronics themselves have not been handed to us. So, so we will wait, be what? using some of their original models from f Family Diner. Wh why you gotta drop a custom? So Test wait, one. they don't know where the model We'll be trying out from? the advanced head and facial movement on the 82 model. The test okay. will begin in three, two, Oh, that's one. withered Bonnie before he lost his face. Looks good. Oh, I don't appreciate just the static, man. By the way, no sound effects, guys. Oh boy, that's a solar stare though. <sighs> oh guys, this ain't Test good. Two. My eyes are worn again. We will try the leg movement <laughs> again oh with gosh. the 82 model. <laughs> okay. The test will begin in three, two. It's the building blocks. I why they were moving around the establishment though. They gave them the ability to roam freely. Uh, he took one step. Oh, he's gone. So this CIR, we're gonna talk about this. Test three, arm Test movement. three, 
The treachery of demons is nothing compared to the betrayal of an angel. What? The treachery of demons is nothing compared to the betrayal of an angel. I'm getting shivers, The treachery man. of demons is nothing compared to the betrayal of an angel. Okay. Will is watching. Will is watching. Oh, He's God. always watching you, Henry. The treachery of demons is nothing compared to the betrayal of an angel. Holy the treachery crap. of demons is nothing compared to the betrayal of an angel. Oh, that stare though. Maybe, you know, back up slowly. Oh no, you're backing close to him. What? Run? An input lost straight after that? Wow, he turned into like a mega flowy guys. Did you see that? I'm gonna take it back a second So CIR 1.3 cyber intelligence rig has been built from the ground up after the failure of the original 1.0 to 1.2 This program will promise the future of many lives as the robotic industry pushes to its limits But like whilst they're showing this like training tape if we skip over to just head movement guys You can tell the rigs are completely wrong, right? These suits are completely haunted with paranormal entities and it's completely jacked up Take it back to the drawing board. It didn't work yeah, if you hear an offer from CIR about some animatronics local in your area, I think you know the one place never to go, guys. Do not be locked in any kind of confinement with CIR-built animatronics. All right, guys, this next one here is called Aging Souls. Abby Walton presents. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's actually giving you some backstory. Fred Bear's family diner. Memories from... So this is the past, 1975 to 82, so it ran for seven years. Guess business must have been okay to begin with, but things always fade on out. Nothing stays forever, right? And they were performing. Is that 11th of the 8th? 75? <laughs> Learn to use a camera. Look at that overexposure. Ugh. What have you done? Um, what's up with the animatronic on the right? I know I'm not... What's up with the animatronic in the center? Help me? Oh gosh. Oh, the audio's weird, dude! Guys, if you weren't headphones, you would have heard that. Oh, that's Golden Freddy, isn't it? In the past service? Memories from. Okay, they're back on stage again. It's the original gang, right? They're just performing. Look for the abnormalities, guys. Look for the changes. I see nothing at the moment. Okay, they're all looking the same direction. That could be all part of the, you know, motion control performance. That, oh gosh, all at the same time? Hey, who's that camera operator, huh? Oh boy. That was definitely Golden Freddy. To anyone who's watching this, you need to return this tape back to Fredbear's. What, the tape itself is like cursed? Don't listen to him. Meet me at the back of the diner? Don't do it, Joel. Oh, man. I'll be in a purple car. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not good. No way. You know, guys, I'm thinking that what we just saw right there might be in reference to this here. I, it's hard to know, like, if the names of these characters are different between, like, the different stories. Because people are already saying, like, you know, your FNAF lore is bad, man. You know nothing. Yeah, it's been six years of FNAF constantly. It's no wonder that some of my memories get jumbled up. The plot for this thing is so intricate. This is the only cutscene that I get a throwback to, though, uh, involving a purple car. And that could well be the back of the establishment, uh, even though I think that might be a window there. If so as well, I guess we can kind of confirm that she ended up meeting with the purple guy within the purple car. Alright guys, so that was three of Joe Lonick's newest videos. He's still got more out there which you guys can check out. But now we're moving over to a user called Discrom. This is apparently a cancelled FNAF series that this dude had, but some of the quality that I saw from this is amazing. This was one of the first videos he made, guys. So I want to check it out. They took out my eyes. Oh, they go straight in the deep end. They did it so I could feel better. Ah, I don't know about that one, Chief. I think you've been lied to. It hurts so much. Backing up my point about the bullcrap. Oh, I actually feel terrible. Whoa. Why do I deserve this? Oh, gosh. You could literally see the animatronic squandering in pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, so he did something, but what did he do? I just want to go home. You ain't going home, bud. You are not going home. I think the only way out is freedom, right? I want to leave. Look, with no eyes, though. That's so horrid. Like, it looks so confused. The child within there. I called a child it. I don't think I'm alive. 
I can't eat or play. This is the soul from within the suit talking. I can't go home with the other kids. I can't talk to them either. Just trapped in an endless cycle. I don't remember my family. Gosh, whoever did this had its way. Oh, the suit is gone. I can't see. Ooh, buddy. Oh. You see it flashing in the static though, guys. He's still there. I'm never going home, I think it said. And then the tape just simply cuts out from there. All right, guys, we're moving over to the next one here. This is Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the light response training video. So this is to teach the employees about the suits. Part one, how to check the 83 model responses. So let's see. Move the mascot animatronic into a dark room for best results. Why would that be the case? This video will be using Bonnie, for example. Okay. Can I hear like screaming? Okay, that was jacked up. There stands Bonnie with his guitar. But... He doesn't really do anything. Your response check light should mimic any customer's portable camera flash. So... They look towards the flash of light, is that what it's trying to say? Mascots who have a functioning light response will always pose for the picture. Gosh, if there's a kid within that suit, they won't have a choice. Now activate the front-facing response check by included with the 83 model mascot package? Let's see. Does it pose, though? Um... It don't look like it's responding, guys. Oh. I can't move. It's like the child within that is forced to do that. Make sure your mascot turns to the light and back quickly. That's- oh, that's horrible as a concept! If your mascot is slow to respond or not responding at all, then send it back to the manufacturer. The 1983 models rarely have a problem with recognizing lights. If there are no problems, activate the left-facing response check light. That must be for the people who are actually doing the survey to make sure everything works out. The light hurts my eyes. Um... You are now done with the light response check. Whoa! If the tape cuts there, for any questions, please! Look at the space between that full stop at the end, guys. Please help. It's nightmare. This nightmare won't end. I didn't get to read that. That was crazy quick. This nightmare won't end. It's tearing me apart. I want to be free. Whoa! That's actually a kind of disturbing tape when you think about what was happening within there. It was a very simple concept, like, it just simply explained how the light function with these animatronics, they turned to pose for a camera. These poor kids were stuffed in these suits and they're still suffering all of this time later. And better yet, when someone does like a light or something, they are forced to act happy and all joyful to pose for the picture. Like, there were messages in Twine so like, it hurts my eyes and stuff like that. So we knew these animatronics were still alive within the suits, but they were still forced to endure all of the suffering despite kids laughing and parents cheering for their pictures with them. That's messed up! We're gonna watch one more here, guys. This was his last video on the series. It looks too real. Oh, it's the night guard! Oh, that looks I so like real. It, Did it catch him? That's in the FNAF 2 office, right? It's like the night guard is recording his experience to show how traumatic it is. Whoa, this is crazy cool. All right, lots of static, but... Oh, he messed up, no more power left. There's the puppet. Even though he made the 6 a.m., is he gonna let him go? Oh, this is actually tense, dude. Um, the lights are flashing. I don't see him. That's Golden Freddy, right? Is that Golden Freddy? I couldn't tell. Someone's getting up close and personal, they know you're vlogging, Chief! Probably turn the camera off. Um... It's hard to make sense of that. And that was it, it just simply cuts there. Alright, now we're moving over to J-Gems. They are a fantastic animator, and they've recently uploaded a brand new video about Springtrap, and I want to check it out! Let's see this, guys. Oh... It's like he's just discovered his joint. Oh! <laughs> Dude! It's from FNAF 3! This is really creepy. It actually feels like this is what would be happening. 
Like the movements are What? Oh my gosh, is that it? That was insane. Is this like a teaser for something? Bro. This must be the animators. You guys, please make something out of that. Coming soon. They're working on something. That looks insane. Dude, I gotta go back. Look at the, like, the jankiness. Like, you can hear the metallic parts all moving and his tendons being pulled tight. And that face reveal. Wait for it, guys. That is one of the best things I've seen. So unexpected and so casual. Look at that. That is amazing. Listen, I'm actually excited to see the creation of this. There's been this big buzz around like Springtrap. People wanted him in like Dead by Daylight, which still I really want to see. But that would be incredible to see like a different perspective on the whole FNAF 3 thing. I want to see that. Please make it happen. Here's another one by JGems, guys. This is an interview with Ennard. What? This is one of the only ones in his series of this I haven't seen. I'm actually excited. <laughs> Chilling up there, look at that man! I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh. <laughs> I've been waiting. Dude, I don't like that. So ask him the questions, get Do the pictures. You know who I am? Oh. No, I mean, do you really know who I really am? No, bro, tell us, please. There's a little of me inside every body. Wow. What are you, like the founder of all the animatronics? I am all, but what am I? Um, Another number that isn't equal to any of you. What does that even mean? Do you hear that? for parts, stripped and broken down, all for your entertainment. What? He was like a spare that is. a puzzle can be repositioned and You didn't chain him down? <laughs> but the puzzle will never be whole again Dude. until the wrongs have been righted. That actually made me jump. Once you desecrate the beauty, once you shatter the integrity of something, all it can ever be is okay. a broken, ugly, vile monster. Dang, he's spitting facts though. Look at that dude. That's what I am. That's all that I am. Alright. I'm a monster. Well, at least you know it, so I that gets back to the question. I think of what once was. <laughs> and the one you really need to fear. Okay. Fear me. He's dead, dude. And don't you blink. Or your eyes may never open again. Bro, he's gonna back up. Oh, he got out! Did he leave him? What? Don't pan that camera back. Wait, so Ennard straight up just gave that dude an interview free of charge and then didn't proceed to take his frontal lobe? What a generous guy! Now, the last section of this video is going to actually take us back over to Battington with his independent series. We did watch the first one, I believe, in the first video, which was just like the maintenance on the ice cream dude. Uh, not too much really got revealed other than that he had blood all dripping down his face and it was pretty messed up. So, let's go ahead and see the next one. Trying to say I pull off his arm? Pull his arm, what the freak? Whoa, you brutalized that, anim that little dude. Is it an animatronic? Might just be like a, a Woody type thing. He won't stop crying. Oh, he felt the pain. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Wait, what did she pull the arm off? I would say interpreting it literally as the doll. What if I bitch another human? All right, but jokes aside, guys, what actually was it? 5.41 a.m. August 11th, 1986. What hemisphere of the world is this on? Usually, like, in summer, when it gets about 4 a.m., it's pretty light outside. You'd see a lot. This must be security camera footage from within what looks to be a workshop. There's, like, feet aligned on left, on the left and the right. Yeah, look at that. Look at those Pinocchio-looking dudes. Is he, like, doing the night guard job? He's, like, in there checking these guys out. Maybe seeing if they move or something like that? 
It's hard to tell. You just sit there for X amount of hours and just watch over these little wooden, I don't know, marionette type dudes. I don't really understand. It's completely stuck. There's just nothing going on. He checks the right side. Look at that. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's like these guys are the Reds versus the Blues, man, and they're ready to like show hands. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. They're just staring each other down, left to right, 24/7. They just want to get hands on each other and kind of bring these two columns together. Then it jumps forward to 6:15 a.m. There's lots of static. Oh wait, we have a customer. Bright and early, ha. Huh? Uh, so it's not normal to see, you know, customers with flashlight eyes. You must be the first I've seen, in fact. So how can we help you? Okay, you don't talk. I'll, I'll just try and read your mind then, I guess. What the freak are they doing? They're just standing in the doorway. What the freak? That was the doll from before. Is maybe one of the dolls going to get possessed or something like that? Like maybe one of them will now have that yellow eye to signify something got within it. Oh, wait, there's something on the floor there. Or am I seeing things? I'm really not sure, guys. It's hard to tell. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right here, guys, look at this. Something's rising in the middle. What is that? One of the puppets got a soul or something. It's standing up right in front of you. Does he do anything to try and combat it? Or is he just like... He's just gonna, like, passively let this thing keep rising in front of him. No stopping it. Bro, you should really turn your flashlight on. Okay, you should not turn your flashlight on, man! <laughs> Woo! Is he like giggling or something? Because I don't want one of these toys, man. I don't know if these things are once all the range or still are as of this recording being found, but I just hope when it comes Christmas time or my birthday, I don't unwrap a present and as I remove the paper, you see this face staring back at me. Ooh. And then the music just cuts with that same grin, though. Oh, boy. I feel like the start was like the end. I can't feel my arms. I can't feel my legs. Wait. What? What's happening? Can you feel anything? Yet, I only feel pain. This sounds like torment for this animatronic or this marionette type figure. That is not good. That is really not good at all. There is something inside me. Something that beats. That's called your heart. So this thing is alive. That kind of confirms that these puppet type things they got a conscious within them, right? How's it going, bud? You see him turn and stare? Like it wants to get out. You, you don't want your heart outside your body, though. You know, you know. I want to get out! Oh! Okay, I get it! I get it! I get it! Back up! I don't want one of those animatronics ever! Now. You know how that guy was taking his time to complain about not feeling his arms, not feeling his legs? You see, I'm starting to believe that maybe the person at the start, it might have been a little girl talking to their dad, probably removed said arms and legs to stop the puppet doing that to their face. And if so, I kind of get it. This next one here, guys, is called Wake Up Banzo, I think. We know Banzo is that, like, weird animatronic type thing that we've seen in the past. It seems to be able to morph from a toy, like that, into a big animatronic. Okay. Bro, Dad, why have you given your daughter helium before bed? Stick to a glass of warm milk instead. Now, I think I know where this is going to go, because we know when it gets dark, Bonzo is no longer a small, cuddly toy. Uh... Whoa, what the freak is this? 3.24 am. What is that? It's like a dog howling. I'm going to open the door. Oh, wait! Is Bonzo covered in blood? Oh man, that's actually jacked up. You see his neck snap? Man, and look at that toy. You'd never have thought it to be the same thing, right? Look at it just sitting there right next to that light. Trying to calm us down. Yet little do we know the chaos it causes. Oh man, the light's starting to flicker out. Uh oh. Still a bit of light on him, so we can at least see he's still the toy and not transforming, right? Okay, that was a big time jump. We're now at 4 or 6 a.m. I should have taken a note of the, the date where the tape cut to... Hold up. 9.54. We checked behind that door before and it did not look good. <laughs> that time jump was sick. 
Holy crap. All right, now you're seeing that little plush toy wake up. This is Bonzo, guys. And this dad bought his daughter this very toy. If only he knew what he had gotten himself into, or his daughter even. He'd have probably thought twice about that. Wait, what the? Oh, man! What is that? Is that like the soul from within the toy or something? What? Is there any more? It's just complete... There's nothing happening. Hold up. You're keeping me holding out. If you have a bonzo within your house, locate your nearest community trash shop. Dump it right there. Bring that manager down. Offer him $100 to see that thing put within a press. Watch that thing get destroyed and never bother you in your life again because it's the only way you're going to get safe. Oof. All right, guys. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. In the UK right now, it is 34 degrees and this office is even warmer than it is outside. The temperature in this room is crazy. It's like I'm constantly within a sauna. But that was another episode of reacting to some FNAF VHS tapes and also some really cool stuff at the end from Battington. If you guys want to see a full episode where we check out the rest of Battington's stuff, let me know down below because this story that he's got going with this is really interesting. I like what he's built here. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, why not drop me that like crane? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? <laughs>